Breaking news, the newly elected governor of Anambra State, God has just saved him from what we call assassination. Charles Soludo is barely three months in office. He has started new reform and things that could possibly and potentially move the state forward. Apparently, this does not seem to go down well with a lot of persons. Charles Soludo, on his day of inauguration, we all saw what happened how the wife of the outgoing governor of the state, you know, it's a sin in no small way. I mean, she really caused a big sin, you know. Uh, guess what? Just a, a, a few hours ago, God saved him from assassination. And I wonder why this is happening. You know, this governor, like we've heard him say, has good intention for the state. Why would somebody want to go after him in such a way and manner? to cause him harm, okay, in whatever way the person or these people, whatever they mean, why would they want to do that? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's see what really happened to the newly elected, I mean, the newest governor as at today in Nigeria. Charles Soludo escaped assassination attempt in Anambra State. The Anambra State Governor Professor Charles Soludo narrowly escaped death when some unknown gunmen stormed a seal for on Friday night. The gunmen, accordingly to reliable source, stormed a seal for Charles Soludo's hometown to allegedly assassinate the governor who they thought had left government house equal to town for the Easter celebration. But the gunmen were strongly resisted by the police officers stationed at the Osiofo Junction which are the road leading to the governor's country home. Sunday, independents gathered that the gunmen who were many invaded the Osiofo's town at about 8.30 p.m. on Friday night with four jeeps. Sources said the gunmen who landed in the town fully armed were repelled by the police after a gun battle that lasted for hours into the night. It was learned that the course stampede in the town as residents ran for their lives. The attack reportedly left one unidentified police officer feared dead and many other injured. Reacting, the People's Democratic Party PDP Youth Leader for Anambra South Zone, Honorable E.K. Chuku, who condemned the attack on Saturday, called on the state government to deploy more security men to Ezeofo to protect the lives and property of the residents in that area and ha which has become a target for the gunmen to carry out their evil attack. They came at about 8.30 p.m. on Friday night and started shooting at from the junction. One police officer was feared dead, but the police was able to overcome them. I urged the Anambra state governor, the government, to provide more security men as a seal for you can see that the whole town has run away due to the attack. The people did not go to marketplace today because of the fear and they could, that they could be attacked. And the town has become quiet as people could hardly move from one place to the other because of what has happened recently in the town. So my wonderful people, this is what is going on now. As you and I can see, the, uh, the new governor who was just elected, people are after him. They are after the, young, the new governor who has just been elected. Thanks be to God, he was safe. He was safe, you know, and um, we must continue to condemn with strong term, okay? Every uh, wrongdoing going on in us, in our, in our, among us. This is a new governor who has just been elected and um, who has plans, according to what we heard, for his people, for his state. And some persons are trying to take his life for what? What exactly has he done that they are trying to eliminate him at all costs? So these are some of the things that we must pay attention to and we must not neglect or turn a blind eye to. These are some of the things that go on. And the truth of the matter is we must continue to condemn with strong term some of the evil that is going on currently today. 
this is a young governor, a young man who came as a governor. And guess what? Like, um, like you know, one of the predecessors before him, you know, talking about Peter Obi, he has begun to patronize our locally made brand. In fact, Innocent Motors was the motto he used, the vehicle, we bought vehicles for them, from them for his inauguration, showing that he wants to be part of the society, he wants to improve local trade. Because if this, you know, if that brand grows and become a brand name, you know, everybody will, will enjoy it, they will employ more people. And the people will be from around the town and neighboring town, which will create job opportunity, thereby opening up the area for more infrastructural development. You know, and he has come in, according to what we've heard from him, with proposed good plans to move the state forward. But apparently, some persons are not happy. So we must continue to speak in, a, in, in a, to condemn evil going on in our society around us so that at the end of the day, there can be safety for all. You know, we, we can't begin to fight those who are proposing good and want well and wish well for us as a people. We must continue to em embrace, you know, truth, honesty and justice. Those who are committing the crime and making the place unsafe and unbearable for us. Nobody's going after them. It's those who have a heart to bring, a, bring about change are the ones they go after. But why? Why? This new, uh, this new development of unknown gunmen, we don't know who they are. Like the name implies unknown. You know, they continue to commit and carry out havoc and atrocities. Such things must not be encouraged in any way. And we must, we must speak against it with strong term, you know, and, um, and, and, you know, allow for truth, peace and justice to reign so that, you know, there can be development and progress. Look at what is happening in the North. There can be progress in such an environment or atmosphere where there is no truth, where there is no justice, where there is no honesty, where people cannot, you know, sit down and, you know, have a life because of, um, you know, insecurity. So this is what happened to the governor, uh, you know, and God saved him. Uh, let's continue to pray that those who mean well and are doing well in the society are not the ones who, you know, they should be going after. Okay. Uh, please, let's continue to, you know, uh, condemn with strong statement the wrong things happening in our society. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you have a voice. Okay, have a lovely and a fantastic day. For most, it's bye for now. We must continue to speak out against wrongdoing and wrong things going on in our society so we can truly be free.